Hi guys, I'm Rashonda, and I'm the creator of this YouTube channel and the ArtByRow.com website where you can find hundreds of art and drawing tutorials. So check that out, but not until you're done with this video. Today I'm going to be drawing a couple different mountain designs. These are really simple. I did mine on artist trading cards, but you can do yours on any type of paper. And if you're not familiar with artist trading cards, check out the description box. There's some information in there along with a freebie you can download to show you about artist trading cards, how to make your own, and what you can do with them. So let's go ahead and go on over to the art studio and let's draw some mountains. In today's video, I want to show you some simple mountain designs. I like doing mine on artist trading cards. They are simply just a two and a half by three and a half inch cardstock. The heavier, the better for the most part. And I'll put a link to some free information about artist trading cards and what they are. So let's start out with just a really simple mountain formation. And I want this to be most of this card. And I'm going to round it at the top, make kind of a cone shape. And you can do this with a pencil. You can do it with a pen. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to go ahead and outline it with the pen also. So it's up to you if you prefer starting out with pencil to get everything the way you want it to look. You could go over this a couple times, make it a little bit thicker line weight for this outline part of it. And then what I want to do is I'm going to add in just some patterns in here. So I want to start right about here and make a series of, you see, straight lines. Maybe like four or five. And then I want to go this other direction and do the same thing and continue it on the other side and do the same number. So I did five the first time. I'm going to do five again. And then turn it around, do the same thing this way. And then I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way down for this space here, you can just throw some lines in there, go in a different direction. And then this part up here is going to basically be, that's where the snow cap would be. So I'm going to just keep doing this. So I went that way. So you want to, you want to do different angles each time so that I'll do one over here so that your lines are not, you don't want them to run into each other and go the same direction. Three, four. So I'm just gonna keep doing this, doing five lines in there. You can do some straight down this way. You can do them however you want. You just wanna keep doing this, going at different angles. until this whole paper is filled up. And this is one of those things that's really relaxing to do. It's not difficult. It's not real. It's nothing that's, you know, you don't have to have a lot of drawing skills to do it. It's something you can do that's enjoyable. It will create some relaxation, a way to unwind. Anything you can do that's these simple patterns like this is, is really good for relaxation. So I'm gonna finish this up 
and I will be back when it's done. I have the patterns all finished and you can try doing different things you can try doing a different number of lines you could try using a thinner marker or a thinner pen on the inside here and then the last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of color to the background now I'm going to just do that with a brush tip marker and you can do any color it's really just to liven it up a little bit fill in this background and I'm using alcohol based markers so I'm just gonna I'm gonna use three different markers I have these new, they're called Ohuhu markers. So I just got these. So I'm trying to use them a little bit, see how I like them. I've not used brush tip a whole lot because of the smaller size that I typically work in. But I'm looking for opportunities to use these a little bit more so I can get a little bit of a feel for them and see what I think. So far, I like them. There's a good range of colors. So all I'm doing is, since I'm using three different markers, I'm going to fill in roughly a third with each marker and then where these lines come together I'm going to go back over it with this lighter color and fade that together. Now the thing to keep in mind with markers is that even though they're somewhat transparent when you go back over top of them and layer the markers, they're going to get darker. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to finish it up with this orange. Making kind of a, like a sunrise or a sunset type of a feel to it. In this design, it's just something really simple to do. Something I hear a lot is, I don't know what to draw. I don't have any ideas. I don't know how to get started. And sometimes if you can just get started, then continuing becomes a lot easier and you'll start getting some different ideas and motivation and inspiration. So it's just taking those first steps to just to get something going. I'm just going to blend that in a little bit here. Just so it's, I don't want a real harsh edge right there. So that's it for the mountain itself. And then one more thing you can do is, I'm looking for a pencil. You want to use just a regular drawing pencil. And what you can do is where these lines overlap, just add a little bit of a shadow in here. And that'll help add a little bit of depth to these patterns. 
And just everywhere that one of them ends and overlaps the next one, just put some pencil underneath that edge. And then if you want, you can use a blending stump to soften it up a little bit if you need to. It just helps with this, with the depth of it. Again, this is optional, but I think it adds a little extra to it. Takes it up to that next level. So there it is. That's it for that one. Pretty easy. Just something real simple, beginner type drawing. Nothing crazy. Anybody can learn to do this. If your lines are crooked, you're having trouble doing that, don't worry about it. Just means you need to practice a little bit more and your hand will get steadier. So that's it for that one. So for this next mountain drawing, I want to do something a little bit different than what I did on the last one. So this one I'm going to do this direction and I'm going to do a series of mountains. Again, you can do this with a pen if you want to. You can do it with a pencil first. I'm going to end up going over it with a pen. So it's up to you. I know a lot of people feel intimidated by drawing with pens. So what I want to do, I'm going to make these the lines uneven a little bit and I want my mountain ranges to overlap some I'm gonna bring that line down and then the other thing I want to make sure I do is I don't want these all to be straight across I want to vary the height of them so I want varying heights and I want them to overlap some. And then the next thing I want to do is make lines coming down. So we'll have an area with where it's just snow. And then we'll have an area that's going to have some shadows on it. We'll make some shadows. So that's it for the drawing part of it. Then I'm going to take my pen, and I like these Sharpie pens. This is a medium Sharpie pen. And I'm going to go right over top of these lines. And, of course, this would be the time to change anything if there's something you don't like. Just going right over top of them. And then the pencil lines, we can just use an eraser and erase, so we don't have to worry about those. Bring this one up a little bit taller. And then again, these are the shadows. The other side will be where the snow is at. And then the next thing I want to do is add the shadow area along the left side of each of them. And I'm just going to do that with some quick lines. And you can make these um, more space in between. You can make the lines themselves further apart. But we just want to add some shadow over here. You can come in the other direction. There's a lot of different ways you can do these. Really all we need to do is just make sure we add some kind of a shadow over here. So that we can, can have that contrast between the light of the snow 
and then the little bit darker on the other side. So I'm going to go all the way down here. And again, you can do this with a different type of marker. You can make your lines wider if you want. You can make them thin. You can do cross hatching. Whatever you want to do in here, you could do dots if you wanted to do like a stippling effect. But you just want to indicate some shadow over here. In whatever way you want to do that. You could also do it with a pencil if you want to do it with a pencil. You could do it with marker. You could use black or gray marker. So we're going to do that for each one of these. And then again, I'm going to go all the way down. And then this other area is just going to be left white. So that's it for that part and then what you can do for the pencil is just use a block eraser and you can go right over top of everything remove any visible pencil lines and then for the background I'm going to use some blue markers and put a sky in there and I'll be right back as soon as I grab those markers so I have a couple of blue markers. I think for this one, I'm just going to do two. You can use as many markers as you want. You can do two, three, four, five. You can use one color, like a monochromatic where it's all blue. You could do purples. A lot of different options here. Just do whatever, whatever suits you and your artwork. So I'm doing the lighter color at the top on this one. And then going darker. So one of the things with the markers, if you want to blend them together, you have to do it while the marker is still wet. And the difficult thing with the markers is trying to find the colors that are a little bit different but are close enough that they'll blend in together. And to do that, that requires to have quite a few markers. So it's difficult because it the price adds up, but also you're not guaranteed that any company is going to have the exact colors that you're looking for. So sometimes you have to compromise a little bit and know that you might not have the marker that is exactly perfect and exactly what you want. So for instance, with these blues, they don't go together as well as I would like them to but they go together well enough that I think it works for this drawing. I like this brighter blue. I like how it looks, especially for something like this with the sky. But it's not the perfect combination. So I wanted to show it to you anyway just to Talk a little bit about availability of colors and kind of letting go of that idea of everything being perfect. I feel like art should be relaxing, it should be enjoyable, and if you're always stressed out about everything being perfect, that definitely makes it a lot less enjoyable. So I think completion over perfectionism is more important and that's really what my channel is about is trying to encourage people to get out there make art and let it 
be what it is and it doesn't have to be perfect and just love what you're doing and enjoy creating your artwork. So that's it for this video. It's a couple different types of mountains to do. They're both very easy, a little bit different styles. For this one, you could do different patterns in there as well. Uh, it's not limited to just the straight lines. You could do that however you want. You could also do that with the range of mountains. So a lot of different things you could do. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things. And I will see you next time. Happy creating! Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a like. That really helps the channel grow and to reach new people. And subscribe if you want to get notified of future videos. And don't forget to check out that description box. There's some information in there along with that artist trading card freebie. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!